Okay, so I was checking through Reddit to try and find some uh, news stories and I came across two uh, amazing things really. The first one I came across uh, is this one at the back here. So this is Lineage OS, uh, it's Consta Kang's version, uh, but this has got Volks PC installed in it. Um, and basically, if I drag up from the bottom and go to desktop and start Volks PC desktop, you'll see that it boots into Linux. While it's doing that, so I went to Consta Kang's page to download uh, the Android version to be able to do this, and you can see the Linux version here. I'll go through it in screen capture mode in a minute. But uh, yeah, this is Android 12. Um, so I was looking at Consta Kang's page, looked at the downloads, and uh, we have Android 12. So a few things are different. I'm gonna do more about the Volks PC thing. I'm gonna do another video uh, separately on Android 12. Um, but the interesting thing about this is it's running from Pi Sugar, so it's not actually plugged into any mains at the moment. It's running on a Pi 4, 4 gig, and uh, yeah, its touchscreen is working with just one extra cable. So I've got the uh, USB A going into the power cable in the back of the monitor. So the Pi Sugar is powering the monitor and powering the Pi. So let's switch over to screen capture and show you Linux in Android. So I don't know a lot about this at the moment because I've been spending ages trying to get it to work. Um, there's all sorts of steps you have to follow and uh, there was a few extra things. So I'll definitely do a tutorial on how to do it when I've worked out uh, exactly what steps and, and how I can make it good. But uh, if I click on home, uh, you can see that it's got folder management there. And uh, it does mention something in the release notes about being able to go between the systems. The Vox PC Linux desktop is based on Debian and runs as a well-behaved Android. This desktop application runs full screen without Android navigation bar. For devices that support touchscreen, user can swipe to access navigation bar. There is also an Android button on the desktop panel to switch to Android. Where's that? So I had something like this where I had um, uh, a Chinese tablet which was Android, uh, something like Android 5 and Windows 8. Uh, there, that's the Android one. So that will switch between the modes. So let's have a look and see what happens. Yeah, so there's Android. Uh, so how do I switch back in? Is it going to be... Oh, okay, so it comes up just like another Android app. So I probably haven't got a lot on this. Uh, so this is... Yeah, so if I wanted to jump back into an app, I can do. Uh, I had to enable root for this with Magisk, and uh, that was quite a game. There was just one step that I didn't have, and I was trying for ages. So if I drag up now, uh, so say, for instance, root checker basic, and then I can verify root. There you go. Congratulations, root access is uh, properly installed in this device. So again, let's call up all those apps and drag it over and let's or let's just click on this and go back into uh, Debian. So have we got a terminal in here? The mouse is a little bit sketchy. Uh, so terminal, I wonder if we can install things as normal. Let's pop NeoFetch in. And the password, I did write this down. Ah, here we go, the password is desktop, the root password is root. Uh, so let's go for desktop. Okay, looks like it's doing it as it normally would. And whilst it's doing that, if we just tap Android and see what happens. And I guess it runs in the background, let's have a look. Click on that, yeah, it's still going. This is very clever. I don't know what other applications come in this. It's about a gig, uh, the download. Mail reader, web browser, what web browsers it use. Be very interesting if it's a full desktop web browser. Yeah, it's got Firefox. So if I was to call up, uh, say, Hot UK Deals. I would definitely say it looks like a full desktop browser. And here we go, full screen. And I haven't, uh, I'm trying to think if I've overclocked this. I've been, I've been doing this for quite a while, non-stop. Uh, I don't think I've overclocked this. Although NeoFetch should, should tell me that. I don't know how well that's gonna work because it's running within Android. 
It'd be interesting to see what it says. Yeah, I would say that was the full desktop browser. Right, so let's close that down and go back down to applications, accessories. You can see various different things in there mouse pad, LibreOffice Draw, more. Yeah, transmission, multimedia, parole media player. Uh, oh, it's got the full LibreOffice suite as well. And this is running on my Pi 4 8 gig, by the way. And it's you can see it's XFCE. Right, so let's go back to this terminal and type in NeoFetch. Running the desktop at 1080, probably get a performance boost from going at 720. Oh, there you go, so it does say Debian on here. It detects it's a Pi 4. Yeah, the clock speed is showing as 1.5 gigahertz. That was my cat then. Uh, and you can see the memory and everything like that. This is just very impressive, really. I, I wasn't expecting to find this. Uh, as I say, I found it on Reddit. I'll put a link to the Reddit. Uh, there's also uh, a link to a video and also a link to the site. Um, but if I, uh, let's close this down. You can shut this down like uh, normal Linux. So we can go log out, I think. What have we got? Log out user, reboot system. Actually, let's just click on the Android. Because when if you do shut down, it actually shuts down the whole system and shuts down Android as well. There you go. So this is the Android system. And you see all of this um, you know, works as normal. This is the normal Constacang version of Lineage OS. Uh, I did try it on the Android 12, but the instructions are slightly different and also the root access, in the end I just decided to use exactly the same version as they had because there was something about the kernels needing to be the same. Uh, so maybe you can't do it at this stage on Android 12. I mean it has just come out. Both of these things uh, have just become available. Uh, it was on Reddit an hour before uh, I saw the, the, uh, the post. And I'm running this on a Samsung 128 gig USB stick Samsung bar. So let's go on uh, the ordinary browser on this. So this is the Android browser, obviously, and type in Constant Kang. So Lineage 19.0, Android 12. So if we click on that, you can see November the 4th and various details in here. You can install gapps in here, but uh, Constant Kang says that it's, uh, it's early days and may not work properly, I think. Uh, so and and if you follow my Android 11 video, it has all the same all the same setup, all the same details. So uh, installing G apps and everything like that. But obviously you need to use the version for Android 12. So here we are. I had to install Magisk uh, to make this work, uh, to make it rooted. And here's the change log, uh, so you can see various different things in there. New Raspberry Pi Android kernel. Android security patch level 5th of October. So the, here's the site with all the downloads and all the information and everything. Uh, but it does say, although there's a, a dollar sign there, it does say it's free. Yeah, here we provide uh, free Vox PC OS for evaluation purposes. Contact us for a commercial license. But all the details are in there, so you can have a look at that. Let's go back into Linux once more. Uh, so if I click on desktop, oh, it's there because I didn't shut it down. Uh, so let's try, we'll see what happens if I log out. Does it close the app? Yeah, it looks like it might have closed the app. Oh no, it's still there. So if I double tap on that, oh. So if I close these down, just to show you how quick it launches, because uh, it wasn't on the camera when I did it before. So if I go to desktop, and start Volks PC desktop. Oh, user exited, restart system, and start again, look. So I'm gonna reboot the system, so function F5 on this, uh, and I'm gonna start it again. I'll just show you how quick it comes up. So restart the system. And while it's restarting in the background, let's just show you Constantine's version of Android 12, just a little bit more of it. They've definitely changed some of these things, like the notifications. Uh, I think, yeah, put it down twice. There's definitely a lot's changed on that. Some of the files look different. Uh, some of the settings look different as well. Uh, and it is very nice and responsive, and obviously responds to touch very, very well.
Right, let's go back over to the Volx PC one. Okay, so this is how it starts up. So if I was to drag up and just click on the desktop icon and then start Volx PC desktop, let's see how long it takes to start up the system. Now I've got my mouse pointer already. You can see the icons down the bottom there. Still going, there you go. That's pretty much done, I think. So say the mouse pointer is a little bit sketchy. It's not 100% smooth, um, but not really something you can complain about. I think this is amazing. So click on applications. Uh, let's go for Firefox again and see how quick that comes up. What was that other browser? Something else came up then as well, didn't it? Internet, yeah, browser Android. So what would that do? Oh, it takes you back into Android. So it's really interesting how they flick between the two systems, uh, just sort of immediately between the two systems. But uh, yeah, I'd definitely rather use the full desktop browser, but you might find there's some things, maybe video performance is better in the Android version. Anyway, I'm going to end it there because I've been doing this for ages, um, but uh, I definitely will revisit both of these systems in another video. Uh, but I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.